What's up guys, it's Brad Bernoski on day five of the blogging challenge. And uh, guys, I get a lot of people say, you know, well this whole blogging thing, you know, it's like they struggle to, to, to blog or, no, I can't step on camera, you know, I might I might be judged or I might feel weird or, or be made fun of or criticized or something like that. And I got two words for you for that, in response to that, two words, William Hung. Do you guys remember him? American Idol. He stepped up. He stepped into American Idol, and uh, he sang. You know, she bangs, she bangs. Oh baby, cause she moves. Yeah, you remember that? <laughs> um, what's the, you know what's the message here, dude? William Hung got up there amongst all the judgment, right? All the judgment, and he delivered. And look, he's he's like famous now. I think he. I just checked his YouTube video. It has like over two million views. The dude's like doing all these, I don't even, concerts and stuff, whatever. Do you remember him? He was like the little Asian guy. I mean, who knew, you know? Who knew? The kid, the dude's probably a millionaire now, right? But he got up there and delivered, even though he was probably going to be judged, right? And let me just ask, who, who does that judgment belong to, right? When people are judging you, and you, and you, see, we're all aware. We're all like, we all feel the judgment, but it's not ours. So guys, if you feel judgment anytime you go to, to shoot a, a video or you go out to step out in front of people, I want you to ask because you're very, you're very aware, you're very sensitive to that stuff. And the judgments you're perceiving, criticism or anything like that, that you're, you're feeling, like, like you get that contracted feeling before you, you, you speak or maybe you've got to give a talk or get out on video, you know? If you feel that contracted feeling of like, Oh my God! What will they think and all that? Well, who the heck, who does that belong to, right? Because chances are it's probably not yours. It's probably stuff you're picking up from people, right? All right. If you want to be successful, you gotta first of all realize that that stuff's probably not yours. And if you ask who does this belong to and it doesn't um, doesn't lighten up or go away, it, it might be a judgment that you bought as yours like long time ago. In other words, someone may have told you a long time ago, or you may have perceived a while ago that. You may have perceived a feeling of judgment within you, and you may have thought it was yours, right? Like if you, and see if you do this, if you continue to not take action, be, in lieu of, in light of these perceived judgments that you have, right? You're going to give them power. You're going to actually vali uh, validate them. You're actually going to validate them and, and make them true for you. But they're not. They're not true. It's not you. It's not you. It never was. They're not yours. They never were. So just like send that crap back, right? Just just send it back. And then dance no matter what, man. Look at William Hung. He just got on stage and just, he did it no matter what. He just delivered it. Who cares? Who cares what people think of you, right? It's fun to make a fool of yourself sometimes anyway. And you know what? People are going to respect that. They're going to see you doing that and stepping, stepping into that, having a good time, bringing your joy out there to the world. And they're going to want to be that you're going to open up a space for them to do that. So that's that's what I got for you guys today, a little inspiration, hopefully hopefully inspiring you to take action, uh, turn on the camera, and let your light shine to the world. All right, guys? Have a good one. Hope you, hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you on uh, tomorrow, day six. Peace.